You've, uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. I'm downtown and about ready for a resupply. Be out directly. Everything Let me see what you got. For sale. Our business is done. You know how to find me. It's a private boarding school. I mean, look, I don't have a problem with integration. I just want my son to get the best education, is all. I thought so Frankie we'll had you all so running money. Someone starts knocking off speed. everyone around me, I find a new line of work. <laughs> you bitched and bitched for that job. Ain't safe out there no more. Prefer it here, surrounded by all these guns. Holy shit! It's just bull hockey. Watch it. Okay, I gotta get a closer look. Gotta be a snitch. How else would anybody know about this place? Those sleaze bags don't have the balls to bug Frankie. I know he don't look like much, but he come up back when it meant something. Well, this whole operation runs on keeping the bribes moving, and someone's been fucking it all up. Can't worry about that now. Keep your eyes open, yeah? Could give you a spiel about our friends and throw in some bells and whistles. But that's not how I'm... 
What I want you to do is go home and have that water through Think on. If you want, you can come back tomorrow and make an offer. Oh. Nosy. It's as dead as a doornail. Just, I, mean, I right. told that him he could take wrong. his axe and shove them where the sun What is this town he thinks he's going to teach my kids that nonsense? You bet your ass we'll be at the school board meeting next month. My nephew just got Boy, back. Just... Riding ahead. Drazio guarantees confidentiality, sir. Any transactions you may have had with our oh. organization are safe as how. Fine. Alan? You have a talk. Good idea. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure while we can. Putting us in there gives us a foothold on the district. All you gotta do is make it official at the next sit down. Game. You hear what happened at the lighthouse? News isn't saying much about it. Uh-huh. How are you, sir? Just wanted to say my mother would be so proud of me and everything we're doing here. I owe that to you, Mr. Clay. managed to get to Tony D'Orazio. I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Oh, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. 
Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. I was going for Mr. DeRazio. How long you been here? A month? Mr. DeRazio ain't the second chance type. Do your job, and you might just live to see month two. Some bitch running all over the goddamn place, smashing our 
shit to pieces? I wanna know what the fuck's going on down there. You hear me? It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. DeRazio made his very generous contribution. Shit. Right now? Okay. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Follow him. See if he oh. Okay, how about this one? I know this son of a bitch has been dead since 64. Finally. But he's dead. And he old. Maybe somebody else owed him. Don't matter. You never clear the ledger with Mr. Durazio. File it. Do your fucking job and find him! Uh-huh. Don't worry about the start date. Mr. DeRazio is gonna worry about the start date. You... Highness making an appearance today? Not yet. Best don't let him catch you in here with that cigarette.
audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. You really think you know how all this is going to play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Getting up here. Don't bury you, asshole. Too late to run now, boy. Now we're too late. Let's go. You Negroes are great for target practice. About that. Get him! Renee, take cover! I got no move here! Fuck! Available units. 
Coming through. Keep your hands off me. Don't be rude. What the hell is that? There's no help for this one. Pardon me. This area is clear. Let's try it in. Pardon me. Excuse me. I don't know why people start making Look out. Trying to start something? Wonder what he's up to. Stay clear. Hello there. Pardon me. That's some suspicious behavior. Fucker got business. Two. What's he gonna do with that? It's a nice piece you got there. The oh, stop it. Is that a gun oh, in that gun? Silly me. Where now? All units. Search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Oh, Return shit. to patrol. You got some pens and needles, lassie. Set. Tony DeRazio just kissed the pavement outside the Royal Hotel. Downtown is ours. Caval Construction and the sham work sites, the Imperial, and all the limp dicks who owe the mob money, we own it all. Took care of securing this part of the city for you. The boys are looking forward to making their sales at home as soon as possible. Shit, son. I could have secured those rockets as well as anyone. Probably better. You chose me to run the day-to-day -day for the last piece of the city, and I expect to be running it here as well. Maybe I missed the call or something, but I didn't even know you were working that part of the city. Ain't a territory in this city I can't control. The Haitians will run this part of the city. This ought to fit real nice with what we already got going in the holler. Sends the right message to our people as well. Are we done here? I got a whore named Sadie and a bottle of Shane waiting. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. 
Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to calm 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Thank you.